Well, it's funny. My, my Pluto is in Virgo, and uh, my mom is a uh, Type A Virgo, and oh, wow. uh, that that was, that that was my challenge. Um, right, and right. as universe as universe would have it, I didn't learn from that enough. So when I got married the second time, my ex wife was born on the s same day as my mother, uh, Type A <laughs> uh, personality. So I mean, this is how universe works. It's going to keep throwing these kind of experiences at you until you finally understand what your Pluto in whatever means. Yes, and that's how Pluto is. It's relentless. So you think you got it, and then it'll throw it right back in your face and say you're not even close, you know? <laughs> yep. The fact that I'm a Virgo, Greg, signifies you haven't learned a damn thing yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I have Pluto and Virgo too, Kendra, so I, I battle with that a little bit myself, so. Oh, great. <laughs> All right. This group being born now, uh, mid-90s on, it's off the charts, ridiculously evolved. And it's up to us. That's why it's so important for us to write this ship. That's why there's so much going on um, uh, with the powers to be to try to keep us away from awakening from within. Because if we can get this group that's, you know, in their teens and then all the way up to birth now, if we can get them awakened and just give them the opportunity, they're going to really take us somewhere fantastic. Well, you mentioned that, obviously, because we're in the same age group, mm -hmm. um, you're also Pluto and Virgo. Do we all go through the same or similar kind of challenges, or is it more fine-tuned to your astrological natal birth chart? It's going to be um, the generational uh, energies are for, like, um, where Pluto and maybe Uranus and Neptune were at birth because they move so slow. So there's a lot of people that have Pluto and Virgo mid-60s all the way up to, I think, right around 1970, um, mm -hmm. maybe in 71. And what we're doing is we're, we're trying to perfect the soul because uh, what, we, we, what we did, we were like the finalizing of the soul and what it's done in, in its first 124 years from, from Aries to Virgo, and so we're, we're perfecting it. We want it to be right. We want to do what's right for someone. We really want to analyze and figure it out. And then the group right behind us uh, is, Ver, is Libra, and they're about partnerships and relationships. And so what you saw was divorce took off in the late 70s, right, um, mm -hmm. because Pluto was transiting Libra. And then the sexuality part happened with Pluto going into Scorpio in the mid-80s to late to mid-90s. Um, and that's also when Saturn transited Scorpio and we got the disease. Um, so you'll see each one of us has a generational effect on each other. And then the group after that, which is the one I started talking about after the Pluto and Scorpio, they're the Pluto and Sagittarius where they come to change this and, build, and just expand the soul and, and its awareness and its understanding. That's what they're going to do. And now we got the Pluto and Capricorns coming where uh, they're little right now, but, but they're really going to make a difference because they're um, – they're going to build something that's going to withstand time, if that makes sense. Well, uh, just to get back to the, the Pluto and Scorpio um, mm -hmm. with my daughter, and for any, anybody, I guess that would be uh, late teens through uh, late 20s, I guess, right? Right, um, right. More, more specifically, what kind of challenges can they expect? And the way I, I, I was looking at their birth chart, mm -hmm. at least my daughter's, is that these – this generation will essentially go through the dark night of the soul at a young age. Yes. yes. They're, they're having to grow up quick. They're very wise. Um, they can handle a lot more than we probably would have can hand, could handle. So they're going to see a lot more as far as death and rebirth. And that, that just doesn't mean on the physical plane, but just things are going to end. The ways of life are going to end, but new ones will come of that. So they're going to see that, um, and they're going to experience it. So, yeah, they're, but they're also they are extremely powerful. And what we got to do is just keep them off drugs, keep them clean, and keep them knowing that they have the power within. That's why my big message is, is, is and always will be from here on till I leave that your power is within. You have all your, your uh, what you need deep within you. Your answers are there. Go get them. You know, God is within you, and it's just a matter of realizing that and not uh, being egotistical. It's just grasping that and then you know, becoming everything you can with, with that knowledge. And, and that group that you're talking about, Pluto and Scorpio, they're really, right now, they're going through a lot because Saturn mm -hmm. and the nodes are there. And so they're really experiencing things. Mm -hmm.